take back the White House and take back the country? This is no ordinary election. We are at a defining moment in our history, and most of all, we've lost faith that our leaders can or will do anything about this. For me, this is not just about the next election. This is about the next generation and what we must do to keep faith, to ensure that our children and our grandchildren have the same blessings and opportunities that we were given. We know that this moment of great challenge is also a moment of great opportunity. We know that this election is our chance to start over. Thank you for coming and welcome to the richest hill on earth. And that's not because of the minerals under the ground, but because of the people on the ground and here tonight. I know that there's some people who've been saying that these caucuses, uh, these caucus states out west with these small populations, they don't really count all that much of the process. <laughs> there have been people who have been saying, well, Obama's winning all these small caucus states, these small little western states. I, I don't know about you, but uh, I think they're pretty important. This Mansfield Bed Camp dinner is a great place for us to celebrate the resurgence in the West of the Democratic Party. And I am so glad that this election will go on because by holding the last primary, the last best place is going to help choose the next president of the United States. I know that Montana is fiercely independent. That's how the Western states are. We know that government cannot solve all of our problems. We don't expect it to. Americans are a self-reliant people. We want to work hard. We want to make it on our own. We don't need a handout. We don't want our tax dollars wasted on programs that don't work or perks for special interests. We understand that we can't stop every single job from going overseas or build a wall around our economy. We're not afraid to compete. But that's not an excuse to spend another four years doing nothing. I believe we can bring Democrats and Republicans together to finally make health care affordable and available to every American. And this is personal for me. My mother died of cancer when she was 53 years old. Because I know what it's like to see a loved one suffer, not just because they're sick, but because of a broken health care system. And it's wrong. And that's why I've made it my mission to deliver health care for every American. I brought Democrats and Republicans together to expand health care to 150,000 children and parents in Illinois, and that's how we are going to cut your premiums and stop insurance companies from denying you coverage and give every American the chance to get health care that is at least as good as the health care that I have as a member of Congress because you pay my salary. We have the problem of 47 million uninsured, including more than 160,000 right here in Montana. And then we have the problem of people who are insured, except when it comes time to get the insurance company to pay the bill, the insurance company won't pay the doctor or the hospital. So here's what I believe. If you have health insurance and you're happy with it, nothing changes. But if you are uninsured or underinsured, we're gonna open up the Congressional Health Plan. Congress has a plan for itself and federal employees with more than 250 choices. It covers preventive care, mental health care, the kind of comprehensive health care that every American should have access to. And for those who can't afford it, we're going to offer health care tax credits. And I would like to see us limit the amount of money that anyone ever has to pay for their health care premium to a small percentage of your income. And I believe in high standards for our children. We've got to have high standards. Kids in Butte, you're having to compete with kids in Bombay. 
We've got a global economy every child has to learn, especially in math and science. But I don't want high standards measured just by a single high stakes standardized test because I, want, I don't want our teachers teaching in the test. I want our kids learning art and music and science and literature. And when I say solutions, I mean public schools that are worthy of our children, starting with universal pre-kindergarten, going all the way through. I believe you've got to start with preschool with Head Start, early Head Start, universal pre-K, so that all of our children get off to a good beginning. And I will end the unfunded mandate known as No Child Left Behind. For seven years, the drug companies, the insurance companies, the oil companies in Wall Street have had a president. I think it's time that the American people had a president. We have to be the party that rallies not just Democrats, but independents and Republicans to a common purpose. I don't want to be the president of just blue states or red states. I want to be the president of the United States of America. If we remember that we rise or fall as one people, and that we can meet any challenge that comes our way if we meet it together, then I believe that this generation will do its part to perfect our union and keep our promise alive in the 21st century. I am absolutely convinced that this is our moment. This is our time. And if you, Montana, will stand up with me and fight for me, then I promise you we will not just win this nomination. We will win the general election. Give us the child who wants to learn. Give us the people in need of work. Give us the veterans who need our care. We say, give us this economy to rebuild and this war to end. Give us this nation to lift, this world to lead, this moment to seize. The Democrats are ready, I am ready, and I know, Montana Democrats, you're ready too. Let's go forward to victory. From Wisdom to Weibo, from Ecolizing to Eureka, and even in Sweetgrass County,